Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to how to make Wilton Pie World War II home front 001 April 1940. Yes, this is part of the World War II uh, YouTube channel, uh, the playlist Home Front, uh, World War II Home Front. And this is also connected to Time Ghost History uh, YouTube channel and my reactions to between two wars um, i'm done with between two, two uh, between two wars and now i'm focusing on the home front uh, with anna dinehart mr anna dinehart and yeah this is the channel world war ii and the playlist world war ii home front yes okay guys remember if you want to check out uh my future reactions to the other episodes or videos on the home front playlist remember the playlist card is going to be at the top here just click on it and you'll be able to access them if you want to check out the original video as well as uh world war ii youtube channel the links are in the description below okay let's start three two one Go. Hey guys, we're going to make Wilton Pie today, which... Wait a minute, you're not Anna. Okay. Alright, Wilton Pie then. Who are you? A lot of people in Britain had to make during the Second World War because of food shortages. This is Wilton Pie or Lord Wilton Pie. Hey! <laughs> Lord Wilton, the Earl of Wilton, was appointed by Neville Chamberlain as the Minister of Food in, in Britain in April 1940. Um, and Wilton Pie is named after him because of the rationing and stuff. There were a lot of ingredients you could not longer get. So what you got is vegetable-based pies that people weren't particularly fond of, but this is what you might get. This recipe is from the Times, right? This is, I think this is one no, from the... the other one. It's the other one? Okay, well, well, we'll write it down in the description. What you need to make Wilton Pie is first of all a lot of vegetables so here we got the cauliflower we got the carrots we got the parsnip spring onion and potatoes so cut them up put them in a big pot and start cooking it looks like it's going to be very healthy you know i see a lot of vegetables here um, no meat but a lot of vegetables that's that's good I might need to tell you that I have no real cooking experience whatsoever. My guy, if if we can eat it and we are okay the next day, then, then it's fine. Your food is fine. <laughs> you can cut it, you can uh, dice it up in however you want or however you're comfortable with it. It's fine. As long as it's digestible and we'll still be alive the next day, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not really going to... Uh, you know, nitpick your way of chopping carrots and uh, how you're cooking your food. As long as it's tasty, it's edible, it's digestible, then there should be no problem, you know. Okay, do you reckon this is half a kilo? I should have weighed it before I started cutting. <laughs> uh, you have to, you know, shave this. We should start a new show though. Cooking with Joram. And I, I make these horrible recipes. That oh, okay, but maybe you should get like a peeler for that instead of using the knife. But okay. I cook like, like this. People are going to hate me for this. <laughs> I'm just worried about your hands. I mean, you might cut yourself there. The way you are forcing the blade through. Yeah, it's kind of worrying. But good luck. <laughs> I'm always literally butchering this. <laughs> Parsnip. No, this is not wartime saving at all, no. Make sure you keep your cutting plate clean at all times. Am I already sounding like Jamie Oliver? <laughs> I have no, no clue whatsoever how to cut a cauliflower. This is probably not how you would <laughs> cut a cauliflower, is it? Okay, so you want to save some potatoes, 150 grams. The uh, exact ingredients are in the description. I'm scared for his fingers. I'm really, really scared. Um, but you know, you don't. I don't even think you need to peel the potato. Just uh, wash it and cook it as it is with the skin. It's actually quite nice with the skin as well. Um, 
and you want to peel them and cook them because you're going to mash these. Please. Yeah. So we cut up all the vegetables and we put them in this big pot and you wait for it to cook. And when it's cooking, you add oatmeal and you add marmite. Meanwhile, oatmeal and marmite. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Oatmeal and marmite. I, I eat marmite on bread. Because I, I think of it as a bread spread, you know. I, I don't think about using it with oatmeal. Oatmeal is it's like food for breakfast, you know. That, well, usually in my household, you know, we eat oatmeal for breakfast. You know, sometimes you put some raisins in there and some other uh, types of fruits. And, you know, uh, we eat it with hot or warm milk. Yeah, you know, after uh, uh, cooking it in a pot. But Marmite and oatmeal together? Eesh. We can already make the pasty dough. We need to add 230 grams of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, 80 grams of butter or margarine. You gotta keep Indy happy, right? He likes a good Wilton pie. He has Wilton pie almost every day for breakfast. I, I suppose many of you didn't know that. Okay, I hear about Indy Nidal and, and you. However, I don't see Anna anywhere here in this first episode of the playlist. Um, yeah, but maybe she'll be in the second one. Ask him, it's true. Okay, now we have to add some Marmite to the, to the stuff. You need to add some oatmeal as well. Okay, so once you're done mashing, give it a good massage. Okay, now, now that we made, uh, cooked all the vegetables and we made all the dough, it's time to put them together. So, you're going to take your veggies and grab a, a nice deep oven thingy. Oh, it looks tasty. It really does look tasty. You know, just don't tell me what you added in there, <laughs> in terms of marmite and oatmeal, but it, it does look very tasty. I will not lie, it looks tasty the way it is already. Okay. Now, um, we are going to put the dough on top of it. That's nice. It looked way better in the recipe picture. But you get the idea. Okay, I take this, I put it in the oven, 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Now we wait. Okay. Look at this. The Wilson pie. There you go. Yeah, it does look good. What, well, looks terrible? It looks terrible. Mm, I don't know if it looks terrible. I think it looks good. In fact, I'm even hungry right now. Okay, Wilton pie. Okay. Okay, guys, that was the first video on the World, of, uh, World War II Homefront playlist uh, called How to Make a Wilton Pie World War II Homefront. 001 April 1940 um, yeah that looked very tasty um, just just the part with the marmite and the oatmeal <laughs> it does not compute into my mind I just cannot I think I'm going to try this out I think I am going to try this out and just taste it for myself and you know come to my own conclusion but so far what i've seen here it does look tasty you know a lot of vegetables which i like um, are inside this pie and yeah yeah it does look like it would be very tasty just the marmite and the oatmeal part <laughs> it really caught me off guard there it just really caught me off guard 
um but yeah this was quite interesting uh but yeah guys definitely if you guys have the ingredients as well you should try it out um i'm definitely going to try it out uh but yeah that is it that is it for the first uh video and remember guys if you want to check out the original video as well as a world war ii youtube channel the links are going to be in the description below if you like my reaction please give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and i will see you guys next week okay bye bye